we have here Mr. Middleton, who has kindly come into the clinic because he can, ten, uh, he can contract and release his tensive tympani muscle voluntarily. So he's an ear rumbler. <laughs> so yeah. I wouldn't say I could necessarily feel anything. Like mm -hmm. when I do it, it's more of a, it's just the sound. I can block out loud sounds with it. So say when I was a kid, sometimes we're walking past like a, say some kind of construction going on, you can hear like a drill going off. I used to do that sound because it used to block out that sound. I don't think this has ever been filmed before. I've never, in the 10 years that I've been qualified, I've never actually seen footage of this. So, right, Mr. Middleton, if you'd yeah. like to sit here for me, we'll have a look together. A couple of different tendons um, extending into the middle ear. One is the stapedius tendon, um, which, will, which will contract you to loud sounds to protect your um, inner ear. The tensor tympani is supposed to only contract as a part of a general startle reflex or when you chew. So let's have a look. So we'll visualize the eardrum first. Okay, so here is the eardrum, this lovely shiny pale grey disc of skin. So you can see these veins coming down here. Okay, Mr. Middleton, if you could ear rumble for me. There it is. So you can very clearly see the membrane flexing. And what I would note here is that it's only the left hand side. So if he was opening and closing his eustachian tube, we'd probably see a much more general distension of the eardrum. 